All right, everyone. Um, welcome to another DIY video. Today, I'm going to start doing my fence. I'm going to start uh, with the back. Um, as you can see, both sides are already fenced. Those are my neighbor's fence. Uh, I don't mind uh, doing the back uh, and the front uh, only. Uh, this is the first of many videos that I'm going to be doing um, concerning the fence. Uh, I actually contacted somebody. Um, they came and they gave me a quote of $6,000. Now, that's not a bad price considering materials was included. But I figured I can do it for less than that. So... Let's see how I can do. In the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment on your video. That way, you know, we can continue to do what we do. All righty, let's get to it. I decided to do my post uh, every eight feet. Uh, so right now I am marking um, exactly where I'm going to dig so I can put the post. All right, my posts are all in. Um, I use concrete mix uh, to make sure they were well secured. Uh, also, my 4x4s, four uh, they are 8 uh, feet long. I, uh, my, the holes were 2 feet deep. That way, I put 2 feet um, in the ground and um, 6 feet for the um, actual fence. It's very difficult to do it by yourself. So if you could find some help, um, if you have a friend or, you know, a family member that can help you. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my friends and family members, they weren't closed. So, hey, I had to do it by myself. You see, I have to carry all this wood all by myself. Um, yeah, so... It will help you a lot if you actually have someone to help you with it. Uh, that way it will take you less time and you will be less tired because I tell you, this thing got me really, really tired. But it was all worth it though. Here goes mistake number one. Now, even though the posts are eight feet apart, make sure you dig the holes um, about seven and a half feet apart. If you don't do that, uh, it will be very hard for you to attach the rails to each poles. Um, and that's the mistake I made. I had to go buy 10 feet rails and cut them to size. That way they can fit properly. All the posts are up, all the rails are up, um, and well secured. All right, so I started laying down the pickets. As you can see, uh, to keep the top of the pickets um, even, straight, I use a, a, a two by six, uh, that way they can stay all even. To keep the space in between the pickets um, very small, I cut one of them, I just take two inches uh, so every time I'm laying um, one of the pickets, I use it in between. That way the space is not too large. 
Also, after every fourth or fifth picket, what I do, um, I measure and make sure that it is straight. If it's not, I adjust it, that way the rest of them can be straight. All right, I got one side done. And as you can see, I left uh, a couple of pickets off down there. That way, if I have to go around and fix something, it will be easy for me to just go around and fix it. I already started um, laying down the pickets on, on, on my side of the fence. Um, I'm showing you right here, I had three I put in already. You see, it's pretty cool because it's kind of hard to see through it. And that's exactly what I was going for. Yep, this is about, what, about five days later? Look, don't judge me. I'm doing this all by myself. <laughs> and yeah, I, I got plenty of other stuff I'm doing, so I'm doing it little by little. Anyway, um, if you notice here, um, the corners, um, I have not installed those pickets. That's because I have to um, cut them. And right now I'm checking, making sure there's not, you know, the gaps are not so wide. Again, doing it all by myself um, it took me a minute but uh, I'm almost done installing all the pickets woo -woo. this is what I was saying earlier um, from far, you can see the gaps um, right by the post. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to cut the, the pickets. Uh, that way um, I can leave the little space in between them and install them 
so we can get rid of all those gaps. And here we go. Uh, the gaps are all gone. Um, I cut the pickets and make sure I leave the little space, you see, in between. That way it looks as if uh, it was a whole picket behind the post. Uh, and it looks pretty nice. You can't even tell. Uh, so thank you all for watching. That will be part one of many videos i'm gonna have uh with uh doing the fence uh the next one will be uh me doing the front and also um doing the gates um thank you for watching again please like share comment subscribe uh and hit the notification button that we don't miss any of our other videos